Hey everyone, I'm Josh. Hope you're doing well. Coming to you from one of my favorite spots here in Sheffield. Let me give you a quick peek. I would have been out there. Look at that beautiful sea, but it's raining. So I'm back in the car. But our verse for today that I want to share with you comes from Proverbs 27, verse six. Get ready for this one. It says, wounds from a sincere friend are better than many kisses from an enemy. I absolutely love this verse. Maybe you're a driver, uh, you will have probably had this experience in the winter, in the morning, you're trying to get out somewhere, you're in the car and every single one of your windows is frosted over. So maybe you're scraping away, you're chucking hot water around, you've got your fans, your heaters on full blast and over a little bit of time, maybe through your front windscreen, you start to, it starts to clear, you're able to see a little bit, but at this point still, it would be dangerous to drive. You're not going anywhere until all the frost is gone. You can see through every mirror, every window. Uh, but how many times, how often is this actually a picture of our lives? That if we're trying to get through lives, we're trying to get somewhere, but by ourselves, we're doing it with a, with a restricted, restricted point of view or a narrow perspective. We need people in our lives to see what we can't see because we don't know what we don't know. And we were designed by God to live in community, designed to live together. See, our purpose is attached to those around us. So we can't do it by ourselves. And what I love about Proverbs here is that it is challenging us to invite honesty into our lives. Now, this is becoming more and more countercultural in our easily offended world that we can begin. And many people, we, we can live like icebergs where we, in a social media driven perfectionist society, where we just project the five, 10% of our lives like an iceberg, but actually there's so much more happening beneath the surface, but we, we keep that hidden from other people and, and we, we just show off what we want to show off and uh, let people see what we want them to see for many different reasons, but, but live like an iceberg. So it may be countercultural to invite honesty into our lives, but it is biblical. See, we need people who will tell us the truth, even when it hurts. We need people to disagree with us, to challenge us, to tell us when we're making stupid decisions. We need people who, to be, who we can allow them to be brutally honest, even if it is a little bit painful, and this is what the what Proverbs is, is uh, challenging us with today, that wounds from a sincere friend, that even when we invite honesty and it hurts a little bit, from, from experience, uh, it may hurt in the, you know, in the moment, but actually long term, it brings strength, it brings life, uh, and, and is way better than, uh, than not having it. So I want to encourage us today, let's, let's, Listen to the word of God today. Let's invite honesty. Maybe you've got some friends around. Um, maybe you've got some good friends or family or whoever. Then I want to encourage us to, to invite that honesty in. Why don't you text someone? Why don't you call someone? Someone at work. Do what you can and just say, hey, I, I want to I give you full permission to see the whole of my life and be brutally honest with me at any point, even if I don't like it in the moment, uh, that you trust them enough to be able to do that and speak that into your lives. Thank you so much for listening. Be encouraged. Have a brilliant day and I'll catch you soon. Bye.